Hey guys, uh, welcome back. In my last video, uh, I showed you how to um, start with Postman and Palo Alto. Uh, we did create our first uh, API call, so we, we were able to get the API key from the Palo Alto. Uh, we set up our environment um, with a few variables that we need to use for our testing and our first collection. So let's continue with, uh, with this video. I'll show you how to uh, get address object and also how to create uh, one. So we're going to need to create uh, our uh, request. So we will be get request so we can see uh, all the objects that being created in the, uh, in the firewall. So what we need to do, if you go to the documentation, we can see object address and here we have get post path delete and uh, post as well to rename. So what you have to do is come to this, this bit here. You can click on it and you can copy. Go to your postman and paste it. Change the bit here that we did in our previous video and add your variable that you already have. You see here, you can see it's taken and is using that uh, address for the firewall. Okay, so once we're done with this, go back to documentation and here we can see we are required to have a query parameters which is for location which is uh, mandatory so you have the different types if you have a uh, panorama shared or uh, obviously in our case we have only uh, VCs and the location for VCs so all you need to do is come back here and um, type a question mark location equal this is and this is equal this is one this is all you need to get your uh, object address so now the next bit we need to do is uh, do authorization. So you have different types. You can use a basic authorization, which will be username and password. You can do this. I will do a uh, API key. Once you do this, you need to have a key and value. So we've done our key and value for our uh, environment. Uh, variables and here is going to be our uh, key will be the key header so you need to copy this go back here double curly braces okay, when you can do this key header and you tap it value will be the API key you can click and you take your API key here you need to have a header because the way uh, REST API key uh, is, is using basically is the header is not is not in the query parameters. So once you have all this, you can save it. Let's uh, give it a name as well. Okay, I can save this, and we can call this. address object and save it so we have it our second uh, collection which address object it's been saved and uh, let's let's grab the information so if you click send now you can see it's showing me all the 
uh, object address I have here you can see LAN network uh, AWS untrust and everything you can see all of them I have if you come to the firewall an object address you can see this is all I have at the moment if you want to see let's say only AWS subnet you can come here type another unsigned you can type name equal AWS dash submit click send and it's gonna show you only this one on the documentation that's the one that you see you see it says name obviously it's not required so you don't need, need to use this if you want to use the app for the second firewall obviously it's a brand new firewall so I don't have any object uh, created yet uh, let's create a quick one AWS for example and we come here we can change the variable type we have so it's going to use these credentials and API key and everything if you click send request always it says object not present because also you're looking for this one if you want to see all of them we did it in this and now you can see it says AWS and the, the one that we create so now let's create a object address ourselves if you go to documentation you can see how to uh, create one see name is required in this uh, situation location is required again here is the input format you can see the different type you can get json or xml it's up to you and the output as well come to the right says post copy this choose a post type Type in URL utilization again. We using a API key. Once we click this, you can see straight straight away populated for us. Make life our life easier. <clears throat> Come here. You can see here. Is this shows you how to use. How need this one to do? So you can copy this. Come to the body. Click on row. And you can paste it. Also, you can uh, format it to JSON. And all you need here is your entry. Tuck and all. So if you copy this and paste it, obviously this won't work. Uh, so the way I find it, you need to have the name because as you see in the documentation saying name is uh, is required. So you need to have the name. And we will need to add another one here. Which will, and you need a, a code like this, name. needs to be a string so we can call we can create our full object and we can call it test for example here you need to type the IP address we can call 10 10 10 10 10, 10 1 let's say slash 32 we can delete the uh, all this as we don't need uh, I'm not gonna add uh, any tax but you know if you want to do it you can do it so 
So this is how it's going to look like. We have the closing. And we need to add a comma here to save this. So our entry is on the name, type in net mask and everything. Here, you need to do the same as we did on the other one, question mark. location but also we it's very important you need to add uh, the name as well so another name and name equal make sure this they both should match here otherwise it's not gonna work so we call this test and let's create this so we can do this for you can see status being success for 20 and let's push this to both firewalls we go back to the firewalls now you can see there's no test let's refresh and test being added same for this firewall test being added so when you're using uh, variables you know and you have this way it's very very easy if you want to push or get something uh you're just changing the environment uh, variables that you want to use for thank you very much guys i hope you like this uh if you do please like and subscribe see you next time